Okay, well, things aren't too good, unfortunately. Uh, I completely underestimated that tumour. Uh, I thought it was going to, be, going to be quite easy, but it was really difficult. Uh, mostly because of its blood supply. It was like one big blood vessel. Yeah. And heaps and heaps of blood vessels, and they're all interspersed with all the normal blood vessels around it. And uh, the reason it took so long was to try and separate the abnormal tumour vessels from the normal vessels. He's got a great resection, so don't worry, the tumour's out. Yeah. Uh, but unfortunately, he's not moving his right side, yeah. and he's not speaking well. Okay. The speech won't be permanent. I just can't imagine he won't get that back again. Yeah. So I think that'll improve. That may take a bit of time, but it'll improve. He'll be able to understand you talking again. Yeah. Uh, but the right side could be potentially completely paralysed and, and may not come good again. I'm telling you, there was time there that we could have lost him on the table. I mean, there was that. I was going to come out and say it wasn't a matter of saving his leg and arm, it was a matter of keeping him alive, really. Yeah. Anyway, we had to do it, he was going to die without it. Yeah. We had to give him a second chance, That's and uh, like I say, he's a positive guy, so I can't imagine he's not going to make the best of whatever he's left with. Yeah, he's got a lot to live for, so. Yeah. 